Hi, it's Taylor T. Carlson. I've got another video for you. We already did a list reviewing and ranking the Superman films, so we're going to be moving on with what I started before, and today we're going to be ranking the seven films in the DCEU Detective Comics Extended Universe. This, of course, is the shared cinematic universe of the DC Comics films, which has come out in recent years, so I thought this would be as good a time as any to take a look and rank them all. For this list, we are only looking at the DCEU films. We're not looking at any other DC Comics films, including things like the Burton Schumacher Batman films, the Christopher Nolan Batman films, any older Superman movies, the Green Lantern movie that came out about 10 years or so ago. We're just looking at the seven DCEU entries, so let's get started. At the bottom of our list, at number 7, we have Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. This has two great stars, Henry Cavill as Superman and Ben Affleck as Batman, both of whom do very well in their roles, but unfortunately, the movie itself just is bogged down by a dark and brooding tone and a plot that makes absolutely no sense. It's boring, you have too much going on on the side, None of it's fleshed out. It feels like pieces of movies that were slapped together incoherently. An extended director's cut was later released that fleshed out more of the subplots, but unfortunately, it just didn't make the movie any more fun to watch at all. At number six on our list, a slight step up, is Suicide Squad. Margot Robbie absolutely steals the show as Harley Quinn, and Will Smith turns in a surprisingly good performance as Deadshot, Unfortunately, no one else in the cast is interesting at all and is pretty one-dimensional. The villainous is boring. Nobody really cares what's going on here, and the end result of the film's conclusion doesn't really amount to much. At number five on the list, we have Man of Steel. This was the first film in the DCEU, and it starred Henry Cavill as Superman. This was an attempt to somewhat rewrite the Superman character in a more dark and brooding setting, and... Well, that approach certainly worked wonders for the likes of Batman, it just doesn't really work well for Superman, who's always been more of an uplifting, lighthearted character in those kinds of situations. The cast here is pretty solid, including the likes of Michael Shannon as General Zod and Jonathan Kent played by Kevin Costner. To be fair, this isn't a perfect movie, but I would probably put this above every Superman movie other than the first two Christopher Reeve entries. At number four on our list, we have Justice League. This was the eagerly awaited team-up movies between all of the heroes fighting a common enemy, and they took a page from the Marvel Comics playbook here because it's a little less dark and brooding, and there's a lot of focus on the camaraderie and the chemistry between the heroes, and that's what really makes this movie a lot of fun. It's a little convoluted and rushed at times. You get the impression there was a lot going on on the cutting room floor, it could have used a more interesting main villain, but overall I would definitely put this about firmly in the middle as far as DCEU films go. At number three on our list we have Wonder Woman. There were three entries that kicked off the DCEU with very mixed results, some of which didn't get the best critical reception. When Wonder Woman, the fourth movie in the franchise, hit, it was the turning point. This is where we have a great leading character, it's a period piece, great action sequences, it's just a fun movie to watch, and the whole thing just, it holds your attention the entire time, even if the finale does drag slightly. At number two on our list we have Aquaman. This was not a movie I had the greatest of expectations for, but it blew me away. Jason Momoa absolutely owns this role. The reinvention of this character in recent years has totally won me over, and it's been one of the things that's made these movies so much fun. The exotic settings and brilliant new worlds we explore here beneath the waves are totally different than anything I've ever seen in any other superhero movie. It's a little overplotted and drags on a little too long, but it's easily one of the best superhero movies I've seen in recent years. And the absolute best film in the DCEU released to date, Shazam. This movie is hilarious, action-packed, dramatic, and touching. The premise here is just a lot of fun to begin with. 
It gives us likable heroes, a memorable and even somewhat sympathetic villain, and after seeing this, the only thing I can really say is I want to see more of this character. I definitely want a sequel to this. And there you have it. Do you agree with my list? What's your favorite film in the DCEU? What's your least favorite? Go ahead and comment below, and also make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Taylor T. Carlson, and I'll see you next time.